Check this out. The gummies are coming. The gummies are coming, be worried, beware. They're coming to gum up your fingers and hair. They're coming on scooters, they're coming on skates. With gum on their ladles and gum on their plates. The gummies are coming, they're coming in force. By bicycle, tricycle, tractor and horse. Unless you're on guard with an excellent plan. Those gummies will gum you as much as they can. The moment they catch you, they'll gum up your clothes, your neck and your shoulders, your ears and your nose. They'll sneak up behind you, they never play fair. The gummies are coming, be worried, beware. It's Raining Pigs and Noodles by Jack Prolutsky. A brilliant compilation of poems. They're so much fun. There's the gummies are coming, worm puree, worm puree, oh hooray, you're the dish that makes my day. Sing a merry round lay, worm puree, hooray. Worms with rice, oh so nice, every forkful, every slice. When I chew bits of you, I'm in paradise. Who doesn't like a poem about worm puree? If you're a kid, that's fun. I ate a tooth this morning. It was an accident. It popped into my cereal and bingo, down it went. Before I started breakfast, that tooth was in my head. But now that I have swallowed it, it's somewhere else instead. It mingled with some raisins and landed deep inside. Perhaps I might have stopped it. I never even tried. I'm sorry that it happened and I'm sorrier to say that I will never see again that tooth I ate today. The poem's in here. You know, how can you not fall in love with poetry when you're reading poems such as the ones in this? I taught a child, I, I, I read lots of poems at school and just for fun and generally I'll choose funny ones if we're, you know, just to get kids engaged. And a child won't put their hand up, Mr. Walker, I didn't know poems could be funny. And I thought my heart sank. This he was eight years old. And no one had ever introduced him to the funness of poetry. I think it always been taught as a rather worthy subject, you know, writing a poem about the weather or winter or something something like that. You know, fair enough, but let's Encourage children to love poetry and an easy way to do that is by making it fun with people like Jack Prolutsky. It's Raining Pigs and Noodles. He's done loads of pieces the size of the sun. There's loads out there. He's prolific. Um, I haven't read all of them, but I bet, I bet they're all as good as this one. It's fab. Funny little illustrations too by James Stevenson. You, I, you just go on reading these. There's a loop in my room. I gave my friend a cuckoo clock. I have a pet tomato. Oh, uh, if I could be a frog. Oh, my mother gave me candy, candy. Butterflies, you puzzle me. I'm roaring like a lion. How about Titanic Timmy Tinkle Tunes? You know, who, who doesn't want to read Titanic Timmy Tinkle Tunes? Titanic Timmy Tinkle Tunes is such a giant fellow that when he plays a violin, he has to use a cello. Ha ha, brilliant fun. There we go. It's raining pigs and noodles by Jack Frolutsky. Bye for now. Have fun. Cheerio.